Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to be going through actually the first video of a three-part series on some basic Excel, Excel string manipulation functions. Uh, to be more specific, we're going to be going through the left function, the length and the right function, and finally the mid function. So this video is specifically for the left function. Uh, the next video I upload or schedule to upload will be the length and the right, and then after the mid function. Uh, so make sure you follow along all three videos. But to get started, let me show you guys the data set we're working with. So let's say, for example, you're working with a data set that involves store data or store level data. Um, and what happens is sometimes you get data where you've got the store detail attached. For example, the state of the store, the store number, and then the ownership type of the store, let's say. Um, and then other times you'll be working with um, a particular store code where um, in a well put together database you've got codes that are put together um, in like a in a logical structure so for example the code we're going to be working with here that I made up um, for each of these rows is just based off of this formula where the code just takes these three different details and combines them together into one string so you've got the store state, the, the store state, the store number, and then the ownership type. That becomes your store code, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to assume we've got this data, but that we don't have this detail and we want to bring this detail into our table. So we're going to use the right, the left, and then the mid functions to calculate these ourselves since we know this detail is baked into this store code right um, so we're gonna get started with the, the left function because that's the easiest in my opinion um, so so one thing I need to start off with first is when you're working with these codes and you want to do like string manipulation or substring manipulation um, you have to understand what the index of a string is and the way I understand it is if you take this code for example the NJ 1152CO. So each of these characters within the um, string is basically has like a a if you think of it like it's there it's each, each its own column and then the column has like a number right. So this would be in Excel the index always starts with one. So the n if we split this into columns right to keep that um, concept going the position for the letter n in this string is index one or it's the first position so then likewise uh, the letter j within this string is in position two or index two uh, the number one is in position three or index three or column three however you want to look at it uh, but anyways that concept flows throughout the entire string where respectively you keep going down to the next character and that's another it's in the next index number right so here we've got a got a store code that's made up of eight characters so the last position is index eight so it's important to know this because some different programs might start to index differently where excel here starts index with number one nine is actually different where the nine index starts with a zero so you it's something to keep in mind when you're working with different programs running your your manipulations so where in Excel we would say the beginning position is index 1 for letter n in this code for 9 that would actually be uh, index 0 right and then so on and so forth so J instead of being index 2 like it is in Excel and 9 would be index 1 and then so on and so forth all the way down the chain so just something to keep in mind because um, if you're working with these programs interchangeably you just need to make sure you're feeding the right index or else your results aren't going to come out as you expect but anyways now that we've got that cleared and that assumption uh, handled let's get to work right so I just took the data from the store code and I basically put it into this table creator All right so now that I've got the table creator I have that data that we're gonna work with so we can start dissecting the store code 
to include the detail for the store state, the store number, and then the store status type or whatever the, uh, the last two um, suffixes are. But anyways, let's get started. So we're going to run with the left function first. To, I already have everything set up, but I'll walk you through as a first basis. We're going to be working with the string manipulation node, and I'll show you the string manipulation has so many different manipulations within it. So you can see here the category of manipulations you can work with. Uh, I have it set to all right now, so you can see all the different functions within, which there's a variety, right? Um, I won't get into it because I don't want to be too verbose with this video, uh, but what we're going to be working with for this left, uh, right, and mid function series is the substring. So you can see here the substring. I don't know why they set it as twice, um, but it's the same formula. It's a, it's a, You're going to be working with the... Well, I guess they said it, so they have that comma in there for you already. Um, but the substring is essentially um, you feed it the string that you're going you want to manipulate, and then you feed the variables of what's the start point or the start index, and then from that start index, how many characters over from that start to the right do you want to grab, right? So if you think about it, it's like a it's like a left. It's like a left function, really. So you feed it, in our case, going back to this where I already have it set up, we're going to feed it the store code column from the table we created. And what we're going to say for the left function to grab the store state detail, right? I'm appending a column that's called store state. So for the store state, we're going to want starting from index zero, from index zero, and we're going to say give us two characters starting from index zero so that'll grab this zero index and then it'll grab the one index right or in Excel the one and the two so we should see NJ as part of the first row right so if we go in and then if we hit apply well obviously I already ran it you hit apply you hit OK and you execute we'll look at the results of this table so now you can see here that substring function we said start at index 0 which is the n and the length of the substring that I want you to grab is two places or two characters so starting at 0 grabbing 2 would be 1 and 2 right so nj so that right there is the left function again using the substring and we set it up to append that substring that we're pulling as a new column um, so look out for the next video. It should be the next one uploaded uh, where we'll go through the length function and how to use the length function along with the substring to basically run a write function in NIME. I'll catch you guys in the next video.